In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to block ads in your browser on iOS devices. So this will work in Safari and maybe even your other browsers. So this will not block ads in other apps like games, the YouTube app, um, news apps, etc. Just to clarify, this is for blocking ads in browsers only. So let's get into the video though. So the app I'm going to be using is called um, Norton Ad Blocker. It's available for free on the iOS App Store. Um, it says eliminate ads, browse faster. It can block ads and trackers, and it's supposed to increase your browsing speed. So once you have it, open it up, and it comes up with a screen that says let Norton Ad Blocker block unwanted pop-ups and ads for a browsing faster browsing experience. And you have to acknowledge their service agreement and privacy statement. So push get started. Um, you can turn on notifications, but I'm just going to leave them off. And to set up your ad blocker, um, you have to go to settings, then go to Safari, then go to content blockers and enable this content blocker. So let's go do that. So go down to Safari. Scroll down to content blockers and check ad blocker from Norton. It's checked now. Go back to the app and it's detected that it's on. And it's on right now. And there's an on and off button. Pretty simple. Let's go to the unblock list and you can block unblock sites that you have to have ads to be able to access them. Um, you can look at facts about and you can look at more Norton apps so this is a very simple ad blocker for iOS this isn't for people who want to be able to customize um, a lot of things and filter lists so this is just for people who want to block ads and don't know much about electronics or things like that and don't want to have to mess with it much so this isn't my um, ad blocker that I use but I thought I'd show you guys other ways to do this so this would be good for the common person. So let's go and actually test this out and see how well it works. So just to stay, um, this ad blocker does not block ads on YouTube.com, so just be aware of that. But let's test it on other websites. For instance, let's go to 9to5Mac and see if there's any ads. No ads so far, except for this, which is a th not a typical advertisement. But let's check CNN.com. We'll tap on this article. No ads, except for this paid continent at the bottom. So no ads in the article, except the paid content at the bottom. Let's go to Fox News. No ads on this page. Let's go to this article. And there are no ads in the actual article until at the bottom there's sponsored stories, which is like with CNN. So, as you can see, this app really does block ads. It may not block ads on YouTube, which I wish it would, but it also doesn't block sponsored content like at the bottom. But it does block ads in the article. We didn't see any at least. And so I'd get this app if you need a simple ad blocker. You don't want to have to be able to customize too much or that kind of thing. You just want an ad blocker that blocks ads for you. So get that. Get this app if you want that. But if you want the ability to block ads on YouTube, more customizable features and um, different lists and block lists and unblock lists and all that, I'd recommend AdGuard, which I did a review and I'll show um, there will be a card in the end screen. Watch that if you want more customizable things. And so, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. Um, please share this video. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And have a great rest of your day.